Hey everybody, so let's go ahead and show you how to flash Sandage Mod 11 onto your Galaxy Note 3. Now, I'll be having some links in the description below this video, as always, uh, one of which is going to be to the T-Mobile version. Um, anybody else, that being Canadian or AT&T or Verizon or anybody, do not flash or try flash in the T-Mobile version because it will fail. For whatever reason, the developer was either too lazy or just didn't care to remove a couple of lines of code to make it compatible with our Note 3s. That said, I have tested the international N9005 version with my Canadian Note 3. Um, if it's compatible with the Canadian Note 3, chances are it's compatible with the AT&T, but don't quote me on that. So again, flash at your own risk and always make sure you do an Android backup uh, before flashing it just in case you have to revert to it. That said, you're going to go ahead to one of the two links in the description below uh, for the ROMs and download the ROM uh, file that you're going to need, uh, as well as the second link in the description, or I should say the third link in the description below to download um, the gapps package and of course make sure you download the 4.4 gapps package. Once you've downloaded the files that you need, go ahead and connect your turned on um, Galaxy Note 3 to your PC via USB and just go ahead and drag and drop those two files uh, onto either your internal or external storage. Once you've pushed those files on over, go ahead and power your device off and then what we're gonna do is boot into recovery mode by pressing and holding the power up uh, sorry, power button, volume up, and home button all at the same time. I know it's a bit of a stretch, so just give it a moment and be patient. And as soon as we see, there it is, our blue text in the top left-hand corner, we know that we are, in fact, booting into recovery mode. So we'll just wait for TWRP to load up in a moment here, which is what I'll be using. Uh, as I always mention in my how to install videos, make sure that you guys go to the install first so that you can check out to make sure that those files have, in fact, been pushed um, to your device. Now, I use USB OTG. You guys are either going to be using internal storage or micro SD storage, but if you're like me and you have one of these doodads, you can go ahead, plug that in, and I'm going to be using USB OTG. So I'll wait for that to register. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and double check that the file is in fact on my device and as I can see here we've got two different versions the T-Mobile version which didn't work for me and the uh, international version which did work for me so um, now that we're sure that we have those what we can in fact do is go back and we want to make sure that we wipe our device so we're just gonna go ahead and click on wipe this is gonna give us a factory data reset it's gonna wipe our cache and our Delta cache so if you have any files that you want to back up you want to make sure that aren't deleted go ahead click the back button reboot your device and back up those files and get back into this procedure but if you're ready to go, we can go ahead and click on swipe to factory reset, which takes just two seconds because of how incredibly fast this device is. Now that our device has been wiped, we're going to go ahead back to install. We're going to locate our ROM file which is right there for me. And then because it's TWRP, we can add more files to be flashed. So I'm gonna click on add more zips and I'm actually gonna go back to the root of that storage and I'm gonna locate my gapps folder, which is right there. And of course we're gonna be flashing PA gapps stock 4.4.2, the 4.4 KitKat gapps package, if you will. So I'll be adding that to the roster. And then once we're ready to go, we just swipe to flash. Now this will take just a moment to flash both the ROM as well as gapps. Um, so we'll be back in just a moment as soon as it's done flashing. Flashing. Alrighty, and as you can see, we are all done flashing and we're ready to reboot system. So all we have to do is just simply click on reboot system. Now, that's basically it. Your device will then boot into obviously the boot um, boot animation. And then from there, uh, generally takes about three to five minutes maximum. Um, so give it some time to compile all of its data in the background. The first boot always takes a while after which it should boot into your setup wizard. Um, and that's it. You're ready to go. You're running Sandage Mod 11 on uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3 of all devices. Anyways, guys, hopefully you found this video helpful. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, make sure you click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. But that's it for this one. Thanks as always for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.